Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Gaming Pie. This is Let's Play Mega Man 10 Part 6. Alright, it might be the last part, I don't know. So yeah, last time, uh, I got my butt handed to me by Nitro Man. One HP left, as always. And uh, I was using the Buster, this time I'm gonna use his weakness, the Chill Spike. Very nice. really good, you can actually, um, chain him with the, by freezing over and over again. Kind of like how you can do with Spark Mandrel, but it's a bit more difficult. Okay, so now I'm gonna go up against, uh, Chill Man. Personally, I prefer to use the Buster against him, too, because of the delay of the Solar Blaze. But, um, I'm gonna use it against him, just in case, uh, any of you out there would just want to see it. Plus, there's something kind of funny about the way it works whenever you, um, get hit by the Chill Spike whenever a Solar Blaze is out. You turn blue, as, and the Solar Blaze actually turns blue as well. It's, it's pretty funny. Of course, you might not get to see it, because somehow I'm actually fighting him well. I have no idea how that happened. I normally fight him horribly whenever I'm using the Solar Blaze. Regardless, I won. Okay, so... Wily Machine time! Oh my gosh! Wily has joined the pirate side! I thought he was a ninja! The Mega Man that old Mega Man cartoon that was kind of bad has anything to say. He's both. Yeah, this section is weak to the Solar Blaze, but due to its delay, once again, I don't like to use it. That delay is a serious problem, for me, to be honest. Ow! Dr. Wily, you hit me with a missile! That is not appreciated. Not appreciated at all. And uh, I'm just gonna use any tank. No reason why, you, why I should. I mean, I have eight. Seven. This week, I believe, is either weak to the Thunderbolt or Water Shield. I'm just gonna use the Buster again. I honestly can't remember which one this week, too. Ah, good. He did it that way. Uh oh, that's bad. Okay, got that off. Yeah, that'll trap you, you can't move while you're in it. Doesn't hurt directly, but, um, you know, those little swirly balls, um, get on. That's not cool. Now, you won't have as many times to shoot whenever it goes from the left to the right, the little Thunderwool like thing. Why can't my Thunderwool be like that? And it alternates. It goes from left to right, then right to left. I don't know if it always starts from right to left. Um, I'll have to check in on that, I guess. It might just be random which way it starts, but it'll always alternate from there. And you don't actually have to run left to right like that. It he always goes down to that side. And I didn't get a single hit on him. But of course, running left to right makes it so that that little swirly ball thing can't hit you. So, um... It isn't necessarily because the machine is going to crush you, it's because that's really almost there. Okay. Three shots. Very nice. We've got equal HP. Good. You didn't send out the little cage. See, only got two shots. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that wasn't going to end well. I have to use another E-Tank here, actually. That's surprising. Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna use some armor shield here. See, he, he is weak to the water shield. Now, uh, as we go onward, I'm just gonna say something very interesting about the plot. Now, in the previous 9 Mega Man games, Dr. Wily has always been the source of the problems. He's the ones that he's the one that's um, made or ordered the creation of the Robot Masters. He's the one that um, you know made the castle. He's always the guy behind it. This time, he might not actually get the people behind. I know I skipped all the plot, but basically the idea is that Robowinza has infected a bunch of vi of of robots, which causes them to malfunction and behave erratically and violently. So, um, Wiley, Dr. Wily all of a sudden appears, and he says that he's been working on a cure. However, the robot masters, some of the robot masters that have gone insane, have actually stolen the device that he needs to create the cure with. 
And so Mega Man goes out to find the pieces for the device and save the world. Now, um, afterward, after the machine is built, Dr. Wily uses this machine's medicine-making properties to say, hey, if you want your robots to work correctly again, you have to, uh, give me the world, basically. But here's the thing, it never says that Dr. Wily created Robo-Inza. It doesn't, doesn't say he had anything to do with creation, creation of Robo-Inza. So it's quite possibly that he's just being an opportunist in this situation. He had nothing to do with the thing. He just sort of said, hey, I bet that this problem could help me take over the world. Let's do it. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. The first time that Dr. Wily actually wasn't behind everything. Now granted, he is a villain, and he's the guy that we're going to beat up at the end. It's nothing silly like that. Now this is not a max tank, this is a weapons tank. It's upside down like everything else in the rest of the level. You can only have one, ma one uh, max tank at a time. So, you know, because I haven't used mine, it um, wouldn't have made that noise. Speaking of my max tank, I think I'll just use it now, just for the sake of, hey, I'm on the last level, I'm going to use this thing. Look at all that refill. I'm gonna use my one half thing also. I, don't, I never used it. Now I take only one half damage. I don't know why I didn't use that in the last level. That, that would have probably been helpful. I never really think of it really. And it only, that only works for one level. You can only have one. So, um, you know, better choose wisely and all that. Not really else. Not, not, not much else to say here. Um, it's space physics. So that's kind of cool. Alright, E tank, another weapons tank. Er, wait one second, that was a max tank, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a max tank. There's two max tanks in the game. Wow. Oh, and uh, Chill Spike. It's awesome. It's the weakness of the final boss. Typically, the weakness of the final boss is a stupid weapon like bubble lead or spark, some plug ball or something like that. Here, it's actually one of the better weapons, in my personal opinion. Chill Spike is awesome. It kills people. With ice and needles. Now Mega Man can use his biggest fear ever, Spikes, to kill people. And uh, this is the one time where, uh, where a boss is weak to the Chill Spike, and it's actually weak to the Chill part of the Chill Spike. Now it should be noted that you should only hit the colored Dr. Wily because um, the other one is a fake and will shoot a um, very hard to avoid shot at you if you hit it. And uh, yeah, I'm nearly done here. He's almost done. In fact, I bet it's only like one hit. Yeah. There we go. Final boss of the game has been defeated. And he flew really high. That's what space does to you. And uh, wow, I beat that with an plenty of time. It says I have 49 minutes for recording left. Very nice. Alright, I've got you now. Can you skip this cutscene? No, you can't. Yes, I'm all about skipping cutscenes. Yes, we have to get Dr. Wily to a hospital. Mega Man's a good guy, and everybody knows it. He'll help his arch nemesis even when he has done incredibly evil deeds. And there's a lot of medicine right there. Very nice. Very nice. We very greatly appreciate it, Doctor. We just wish you um, hadn't made us fight all those robot masters again. And all those other robots that you made. And now we have the credits. This is some very nice credits music. Of course, it's Mega Man music. It's always nice. Except Centaur Man. Centaur Man is not nice music. I don't care if he's a horse, which is kind of like a pony. It's not nice music. It's boring. It's stupid. They should have never made that song. Alright, so we have Blade Man. Pretty cool. Yeah, I like Blade Man. His stage is awesome. His fight is kind of easy, if you know what you're doing. Pump Man. I really like Pump Man. His weapon is one of my favorites. Uh, his hard mode, actually, he grabs his pump handle and throws it at you. That's awesome. Commando Man, uh, he's okay. Not really a huge impression on me. I had a hard time fighting him for a long time. Chill Man is also pretty cool. Uh, his strange difficulty differences are is very interesting. Chill Spike is awesome. Sheep Man, eh, he's easy. 
a nice place to start off, but you don't get a, get a good weapon for it. Uh, Strike Man. Weak to Proto Man himself. I might make a video of that. Um, he's sports themed. Not really a whole lot to say about that. Alright, another Transformer robot, Nitro Man. Yeah, I've beaten all the Robot Masters Buster only at some point, so, you know, I can do that. Solar Man, I hate you! You must die. Water Shield! Wait, this this game was created by Crates? Oh, Crates. <laughs> oh my gosh, the Team Fortress 2 Crates have created a Mega Man game! <laughs> that would be, that's, that's incredibly silly. So yeah, now we have names, and we're flying through space! Wow, this must be like Mega Man V all over again. The Game Boy Mega Man 5, that is. Star droids and all that. Seriously, Mega Man had Rush turn into a space traveling vehicle. Spaceship, I guess. Not really big enough to be called a spaceship, really. Though he is a robot, so he doesn't need oxygen. Um, yeah. And I guess Rush just has enough power to get out of the Earth's atmosphere perfectly fine. No idea about how that works. Though that is an interesting point. The Rush Marine and the Rush Space whatever, it, um, they both had these glass little things to keep Mega Man in oxygen, but he's a robot. He doesn't need to breathe. That's kind of weird to me. But hey, it looks cool, so who cares? And of course, there is no Rush Marine in this game. That's that's kind of sad. Testers, senior testers. What what separates a senior tester from a regular tester? I don't know what that is. More testers. Yes. Obviously, they're not the senior ones. Fine tuning. Yep. Manager. Localization. Title logo. Wait, they had one person to just decide, hey, this is what the title logo is going to be. Admittedly, it is a pretty cool title. I especially like how whenever you download base, it um, adds base onto the logo. That's pretty cool. Promotion. What were, what were they promoting? I don't know. Publicity. Customer support. Customer support? What? How could they put in customers? That's... Huh? I don't get it. Merchandising. R&D promotion. No relation to D&D, I'm sure. Overseas coordinator. Okay. Yep. This is those are the people that work with America, I guess. Special thanks! Who the heck are you? What did you do? Capcom Entertainment. Business, dev, and strategies. Complaint. Christian! Christian! Yay! Marketing! My mom's in marketing. She's awesome. Public relations. I don't know what that means. Capcom. In Europe. Cool. Europe. Europe is cool. Marketing. More marketing. Spe more special things. What the heck do you people do? Alright, Asia. More marketing. Wow, this is... Oh, hey, Korea. Wait, they didn't have special things. Huh. I guess whatever the people that do special links do, um, they didn't decide to do it in Korea, whatever that was. Oh, all the staff in Capcom. Hmm. Well, yes, I can understand why they would receive special links. Producers. Do we already have producers? I don't know. And we have a cool sunset, sunrise, in space. Clear time in one hour. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, and it's a new record, so that's cool. We got a new record on my Let's Play. And so yeah, now we're here at that awesome title screen I mentioned. Anyway, I've been Mr. Game of Pie. I've had a lot of fun doing this Let's Play, and I hope that you all watch my future creations. So, um, yeah. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.